Hey guys, James Sane here. So today I'm excited to check out the iPhone 13. We're up here, we're, we're in horrible lighting conditions. It's early in the morning, but I'm anxious to see, does this cinematic mode really work? Like, does it switch focus on, you know, if I start talking, will it start to focus on me? Well, I mean, that that's what I hope. I, you know, it, I know I can change it in post-production. I did a quick test just on myself yesterday. So if you're familiar with portrait mode on the um, iPhone 12, you can adjust the f-stop no matter what f-stop you filmed in. So I'm curious to see, is it going to work automatically? Will it work on the front-facing camera as well? Yeah, so it, I think it will. So right now we're filming on the better, uh, the rear facing camera, but I do want to see will it work on the front facing camera. So let's do that one next. Okay, and so now we have switched to the, uh, the front facing camera. One thing I noticed right away on the rear facing camera, the better cameras, I have the ability, it has some presets of like 0.5 zoom, one zoom, three zoom, and you can pick anywhere in between with a slider so that's really nice i don't see the ability to the ability to do that on this front facing camera so this is cinematic mode but it, if it can't zoom or if it won't zoom i guess i wonder if it'll still switch its focus to me if i start talking i mean i certainly hope so i i'm pretty sure i can do it in post and i'll i'll screen record my images as i change things on the phone and then i've got to work through the challenge of getting this into premiere pro all right, guys, so in the video, uh, for some reason, I thought this is a disappointment that cinematic mode could be recorded in 4K. It cannot. My, um, let me just show you right here. Let's go to uh, settings, go to camera. And I am set on 4K uh, format. I am set on high efficiency. You could switch to most compatible, but most compatible will always use JPEG and H.264, period. Now, cinematic video, as well as 4K, 60 frames a second, 1080, 240 frames a second, and HDR, so you, it requires high efficiency. So you can't record in uh, H.264. Additionally, I'll put up on the screen. See, I'm set to record... Earlier in the day, I was set to record 4K at 24 frames a second. And I thought I'd go to 4K at 60 frames a second just to try that out. But it doesn't say on here, but on in, in on Canon, on Canon, on Apple's website, the cinematic mode uh, can only be recorded in 1080p. So see, I am set at 4K at 60 frames a second. Now when we go to The video I recorded earlier today, you can hit the info button and it is at 1080p by 1920 in Dolby Vision. So it's HEVC. I expected that, but it's 1080p. So I don't know why I thought it could be 4K. It can't. Okay. So, all right. So now when you go to edit mode, so you, you cannot just take cannot take this video copy it to a usb drive you have to put it into imovie um and so you can do one of two things the way i do it you can go to edit so let's just say okay so all right guys so i'm doing a screen record to show you the the the, the um cinematic mode it did okay as switching focus when i wanted it to but uh 90 of the time 80 of the time i had to i had to adjust where the uh, where I wanted the camera to focus. So it's not hard to do. So you just go to edit mode. I've opened up the um, I've opened up the I'm using a, a an Apple uh, obviously Apple 13 Pro, but it's 13 Pro Max. And so like on the um, uh, iPhone 12, you can adjust the f stop. So it's really nice here over on the side. You know, if you wanted a large depth of field. But I'm going to go with the shallow. I'm going to go with 2.0. It was already on 2.0, so I'm going to hit revert. Oops, cancel. Revert. Let's cancel that. Okay, so it's it's on F2.0 already. So now, see, I have a highlighted box on my face. And so as we go along, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So, 
So when I want to switch, switch um, focus, so now I tapped on Nicole's face. So when I tap on her face, it freezes. And I can go back and fine tune it and make it like a frame or two earlier. But I'm going to tap play so that we hear, so I can hear. Now it switched on it see that switched that time on me. I it switched the yellow box on my face before I started talking. So I don't want the audio from the phone to over, overwhelm me, but so so there's a box on my face and on her face. The box on my face is yellow, that's where the focus is. She's out of focus. So when I want her to be in focus, so I touch her face. I think that's where she comes in and talks. Let's see. Yeah, she did. When I look back, see, it didn't switch. So I would, if I if I was doing this, I, I would back this up a little bit. See, I wish the timer is it right now. There, there's the timer up top when you're scrubbing through. So I can scrub through fast. That's where she talks. It comes back on me. I go along. I can see that I'm talking. I'm just scrubbing through fast. This is another way to check it. I didn't, I haven't used this way, but I like this here. You can scrub along fast, see where the yellow box is. Now I can see, okay, and so now she's talking. I'm going to go back to playing. And so it took a while to switch back to my face. So let me tweak that a little bit. So I got to go to this white line here. Move this back a little bit. When I look back over my shoulder, so now it's on pause. Now I've got to be ready to hit my face real quick. So I'm going to hit play. And now I hit me. So now that will bring in me in focus quicker. And so you just have to go tweak this. I'm going to stop this here. So you do have to, um, you do have to tweak this where you want to focus. I don't, I don't think, you know, for the majority of the time it's, it's going to, well, I mean, it might for the majority of the time, but if you if you're if you're if you really want your focus to you know rack focus where you want it, you're going to have to manually go change it, and then um, you have to uh, bring this into iMovie. So, uh, not that I, I'm not going to do a step by step, but you you have to go into iMovie. Let me switch my phone the other way. Go into project. So you would have to do something where I guess I should keep my phone in the same orientation. You would hit a plus sign, you would say movie, and then you would bring in whatever editing that you just did. You would bring that in and say, create movie. And then you can take that and export that. I pop in, I have this, uh, this drive that's made to go to uh, an iPhone. It's made to go to USB. So it's called wide disk allow. USB is loading data, confirm. And so you would go into iMovie and then if we were done, then you would say, I'm going to export. And you may have to scroll through, you may have to go to more, but there's, because I'm doing this earlier, there's that wide disk right there. And it would export the movie to this uh, thumb drive. And then you could get it into your computer but you have to get your editing done. You can do it in iMovie or you can do it on your iPhone before you go into iMovie, but either way, you gotta get your focus the way you want it, then uh, get get the movie from iMovie out to however it is you're gonna get on your computer and, and so you can put it in Premiere Pro. And that's just the way I do it, putting it onto a thumb drive rather than uploading it. I tried to upload it to uh Google Drive and, and I don't know it just it didn't work so this was the easiest solution for me all right guys thanks so much if you like the video hit the thumbs up it help my channel and if you found the information helpful or useful consider subscribing to the channel and if you do remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss when the next video comes out all right guys thanks so much <laughs> oh I don't know <laughs> we'll see you in the next video we'll see you in the next video <laughs>